Hello and welcome back. In this video, we are going to look in at uh, Google UX Design Certificate. This is the last of the three certificates uh, that Google had announced during uh, pandemic last year in June. And uh, then there's another bonus one. It's, uh, it's Android something, but we're going to look in this video. We will look into this one. Now, this one is the really cool and neat one. Uh, cool as in the UX design basically is the interface of anything anything virtually be it an app for example uh, a Facebook app or an interface of a website so uh, quality assurance testing and all that they do tap into this and then uh, you know this all became so it's not as technical as you might think it's pure fun and uh, <clears throat> basically it's uh, uh for example in mo most of the people they use the cell phone in their right hand and then they use the thumb right so the placement of different things on that screen that's how you do it there are tools that i, I use in one of the you know project that uh, you know we were going through the tool that where to place button where it's going to be easy based on the feedback that you get from the <coughs> you you know survey user you send it off a sub form or survey to different users or invite them into one of your you know studio and observe them how they do it <clears throat> and based on that feedback you go about uh, building that uh, uh, interface now the i think i just noticed that in, in uh, uh, they have decreased the um entry level job position salary by twenty thousand when they had announced it they were marketing it as around 78 and uh, i was surprised that why ux is getting more pay than uh, uh, data analytics or project <coughs> the project management is definitely uh, more than this but i don't know if that was a mistake or during the past year something happened the um, it, it decreased but still it's pretty decent money and make uh, note that it's just entry level it just gets your foot in the door and once you are in you're just going up because this uh, uh, there will always be need of uh, redesigning you know or, or tweaking so it's basically a life cycle if you know the uh, software life cycle or project life cycles it's never ending uh, you know thing once you're in you will be and if you uh, you know uh, <clears throat> just want to stay in there like you enjoy this then you you have a job security you are never you know be, going to be out of job right? that's what happens uh, uh in, it's normally in life cycles one project ends you move on to another one or another one or another one and come back to the first one based on like uh, whatever the life cycle is enough talk let's go and see what the <coughs> uh the course era course outline is uh, again it today is march 28th so don't get fooled by this number uh you can st start it right away so whenever you visit this page it will show you that current date now the things you will learn are here design process and empathizes with users so basically users is with uh, you send them a survey or you invite them like i said or you go and you know get people sign up you go meet them have them use the app and give you feedback there was actually a website i used a little while uh, not used i looked at it so basically what, what you, you would do is that uh, it's a survey you will actually go and give your uh, anybody can sign up for that and you could you will go actually they will give you websites and you will actually go and review that interface that um <coughs> the, the website and the ease of finding information on through that uh, design and based on that what you wanted to do or you were told to do and how easy or difficult it was for you that will be your feedback pretty simple right for example i'm going to give an example this, this is a website that is about tourism or this is a website about a product and you want to see or it's it, it's about uh, a venue like uh, a place a zoo <coughs> You want to see that uh, what are the directions is it easy to find direction to that place do you uh, are you able to find the product uh, and the price or a specific uh, 
quality or you know feature or for example if it's a zoo or you know a venue uh, is it uh, and most of the zoos they have like something special that's gonna be there or like a museum that uh, this uh, showing is going to be on a certain time of the day, year and then it's going to be gone so are you able to find that information easily through event and management and you know all that <clears throat> pretty simple so that those will be your tasks and you you know you review that and you will tell them hey this this is is a difficult more uh, easy uh, any suggestions on that's your basically feedback and based on that feedback they redesign redevelop and you know enhance it that is for website for the uh, UX design for the apps exactly same thing just your own phone so these are you, you can see these are the skills that necessary and they basically uh, give you uh, an overview or teach you I use just software basically that was for uh, um, Apple iPhone uh, I don't remember doing it for Android so we we had actually everything that Apple had, menus settings everything, all those you know cool uh, icons and the font and text, and we could actually in that uh, software we could add drag and drop design it ourselves, and you know add it to a PowerPoint presentation for the if you were to go and uh, present it to a group meeting. So that was pretty fun so i i'm guessing some of these could be the same along the same lines <clears throat> so you can come and read it it's going to be too long for this video uh we can quickly jump to the courses so how many courses are there it looks like it's uh, designed for seven courses and let's see how many weeks in each course <clears throat> google basically is um, marketing them for uh, uh, six months like you will be able to complete this course in six months so syllabus and how many weeks yeah so this one has four weeks and if uh, we have seven total courses if there, there is a chance that uh, maybe uh, course has more then four weeks but even if they are it's they're pretty like easy to uh, again where, where it is let's click on here let's go I just wanted to quickly see the second course and determine how many weeks in there Slavers. and again four weeks so oh no maybe more yes for, even if it's five weeks if you can see it's the video is total 40 minutes and the readings are the like I said they are usually this one this is uh, the videos are totally only 15 minutes and the readings like I said even if they are saying 30 minutes basically <clears throat> uh, 30 minute reading is if you look at them there will be links to different website that they will go and just explore it so it's not as bad for exploring just getting an idea you, even if you spend the whole 30 minutes that's you, you will never notice it and the actual reading the paragraphs you never take it more than 10 minutes so it's pretty easy easy to uh, do it and you can see they are expecting you to complete in seven hours but I guarantee you if you these seven hours are basically for, for example a quiz they're gonna give you 30 minutes and you end up doing that quiz if you had if you are interested in it and if you had uh, uh, let that information sink in you will be able to do that uh, quiz in maybe five minutes so that's how you know this is calculated based on uh, hey this quiz is gonna take 30 minutes or we're gonna give this quiz uh, a user uh, you a student uh, 45 minutes to complete so you know 45 minutes is almost uh, an hour so for example there are seven quizzes and each quiz they are giving 30 minutes it's still uh, what uh, more than three hours you get the idea all right so let's wrap this up um, again the, these um, um, 26 hours oh this 26 hours is for this just this uh, second course and again I was going to say that uh, <clears throat> don't rush it 
you can do it you can sweep, uh, sweep it pretty fast but let that information sink in uh, go through it and actually I had enroll uh, I, I will have to search that then uh, I had uh, like a link from this uh, Google site that they were listing uh, 130 employers that will actually consider uh, the students to had who are like entry level position but it doesn't matter which uh, search they have taken that analytics um, project management or UX design they will consider this uh, students to um, you know uh, be hired by them and they do they do it um, uh, I know for a fact that um, the they do reach out to you they, they have like an app as well where you can actually go and practice your interview and all that and then there is a kind of a job marketplace where you can create your profile and you know explore options and uh, have the recruiters contact you I did not do either of them because uh, when I took the IT automation, uh, so not automation, IT sport. Even during that time, I interviewed for different places, and I had multiple offers. So you know, I did not uh, have to worry. I didn't need. But uh, for you, and especially if you're new, I strongly recommend doing and going through that. So let's wrap this up video here and uh, call it a quit. Um, if this video has helped you, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share, and I see you in the next one.